Hi there, Leos, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the month of June 2020. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out in a Celtic cross. Let's see what's going on for Leo. First up, we have the Nine of Pentacles in the upright, followed then by the Four of Cups upright. And next we have the Three of Pentacles in the upright, followed then by Major Arcana, the Fool upright. And next we have the Two of Cups upright. And then we have the Queen of Swords in the upright, followed then by Major Arcana, the Lovers upright. And then we have the Ten of Cups in the upright, followed then by the Eight of Pentacles upright. And your last two cards are, oh, the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. Wow, you got a lot of queens in there. You have three queens in this reading. What is up? <laughs> All right, Leo, for your overall energy of that of the Nine of Pentacles in the upright position. This is the strong, independent person card. You could be sitting pretty. You could be feeling pretty, you know, like solid on the financial front. The thing is about the Nine of Pentacles, this energy is very strong and very stable. Um, but it's someone who has enough to survive. But see, the Nine of Pentacles is um, a certain level of success because remember the 10 and um, the 10 of Pentacles is the ultimate in terms of financial abundance and, and security and stability. But the nine of Pentacles is pretty close, right? So this is where you could be this month feeling like, you know, I got everything covered financially. Everything is fine. I mean, bills are paid. I'm okay. I'm, I'm going to survive could be feeling very independent. The Nine of Pentacles can come up sometimes when we've got this incredible independent streak going on. Like nobody's going to tell me what to do. Nobody's going to do it. It's like just I can deal with this. I can take care of everything. That's good. I'm on my own. I'm fine. I can look after what I need to look after. Now it's interesting what's crossing you is the Four of Cups in the upright position. The Four of Cups is that emotional disconnect, that whole hum, that um can't you know what it is um sometimes see with the four of cups we can't open up our emotions because we're busy focused in on something else now it could be the case for you leo you're too focused in on your stability your security and your finances and you're focused there and that's why the emotions sort of push to the side sometimes that's why we have the emotional disconnect the universe wants to offer you some emotional fulfillment but you're just not interested because you're focused in on something else. So that could be the case with some of you. Maybe there is someone uh, in the horizon. If you're single and looking, there could be someone on the horizon for you, but they could be trying to get your attention, but you're just not interested. Sometimes it's because we're focused elsewhere. It could be focused on studies, could be focused on finances, could be focused on um, um, health, you know, what have you. What, for whatever reason, it, this is a card of the heart is closed right now. See, try, the universe trying to offer you something and it's like, no, the store is closed. You come back another day. <laughs> so this is just kind of energy throughout the month of June, which tells me that you could be a little bit emotionally closed off this month. And just focused in on the practical. That's why you have the independent streak going. <laughs> just like, leave me alone. Let me just deal with this. Whether it be health, financial, what have you. It's just like, no, I'm just sort of shut down emotionally right now. In the past, we have the uh, three of pentacles in the upright position. So this is a card that represents cooperation. Perhaps you were working in tandem with other people. They were cooperating. This could have been your job, could have been... Um, whoever you maybe you were working on a project with a team uh, doing some home renovations or things like that and everybody was just you know sort of on the same page you weren't really I see a lot of cooperation here but then it just seems to be dealing and focused in on the emotions or sorry on the practical and the financial the emotional it's like eh, I don't really want to get involved with the emotional part of it I'm just too busy trying to you know nail this other stuff down which means my job my home my finances that kind of thing now you leave the month of may and come into the month of june with a possibility of a new chance there's this is like ready to take a chance again um 
I could do this, but it's a little bit risky. The fool's energy is a little bit of a risk attached to it. Sometimes it could be like, hey, come in, you know, uh, work for me in this job or something or in this uh, company. And you're like, mm, I've never done that before. I don't know if it's going to be, you know, good for me or what have you. And it's like, just give it a chance. Try it. Or it could be a new type of person comes around in your life that you've never dated before. And it's like, hmm, give it a chance. You're trying to decide coming into the month. You're trying to figure out, should I take this leap of faith or not? But I think you do because it's, <laughs> the two of cups comes up next. So this is uh, about a week into the month. Here's that tight, tight on the same page with a certain person. Now this could be representative of a best friend. This could be a family member. This could be a lover, a new love interest, or it could just be feeling really close and tight to somebody you're already partnered with. But it's interesting that that energy is there and you're trying to push it away. So it could be somebody is trying to uh, get you involved <laughs> and get your emotions engaged in something. Could be, again, your, this could even be your partner. This could be a friend. This could be somebody who's noticing that your emotions are stifled. You're, you're shut down. So this could be somebody trying to open you up again. Could be definitely somebody who's, it could be a best friend or somebody who really cares about you. This is someone who really cares about you, wants you to open up the emotions. Don't, doesn't want you to be emotionally apathetic anymore. So it could be somebody just poking and prodding you somewhat. Now, it could be this Queen of Swords in the upright position. This is around the middle of the month. We do have the Queen of Swords here. This is air energy, that of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Arising, male or female. Now, it could be there's an air sign in the midst that's trying to uh, get a conversation going with you because that's what the air people do. <laughs> They're all about thoughts, communications, that kind of stuff. Queen of Swords is also somebody who just shoots from the hip, tells you exactly how it is. So for some of you, this is a love interest that really wants to, you know, get you to open up your emotions and perhaps you're not doing it and then this person decides to uh, poke you and prod you uh, mentally, intellectually, wants you to engage in a conversation with them so that they can tell you maybe how the, how to open up your heart again. Or maybe they want to tell you how they feel about you. It's that kind of thing. Or it could just be someone is uh, just wanting to open up the lines of communication. This could even be you embodying the energies of the Queen of Swords. Maybe you want to get a dialogue going. It could be with this person. Or maybe it's just in, in your own head, too. Because, see, the Queen of Swords has really clear thoughts. She's mental, cerebral. She leaves emotions out of it. And she just has very clear thoughts and very clear communication, whether it be with herself or those that she's talking to. Now, this is you internally, <laughs> not necessarily the face you show to the world. We do have the Gemini card here in the upright position. This is the lovers, uh, all about a choice and a decision. Now, we do see air energy here. Some of you are definitely dealing with a Gemini. Others of you, it could just be about you needing to make a choice or a decision this month. And it could be about your emotions. Definitely, I feel that because here we have the four of cups. Like, this is you. Nope. Nope, the store's closed. And then here's somebody who just wants to talk to you, somebody who really cares for you. And and then maybe opens up the lines of communication. But now you feel like you have to make a choice or a decision. Or maybe you just instinctively know that it's not good to keep your, your emotions uh, chopped off or closed off for too long. And, you know, maybe you just know, and this could just be a really good friend helping you to open up the heart again. Now, this is you... Um, well, not you, but it, this is people in environment. And this is all about, um, it's about having that really good emotional experience. Now, it could be with a family reunion. This is coming in your environment area. So this could be you perhaps getting together with family members or people who feel like family that you haven't seen in a very long time. And perhaps just, you know, feeling really good on the emotional front. I think there's a big turnaround, but maybe you're fighting with yourself. Leo, it could be because this is remember energy that wanes in and out throughout the month. It could be that you're fighting with yourself. Um, you don't. <laughs> you're trying. People are trying to open up your emotions, and you're having emotionally good experiences around you to show you that it's you know 
you know, get engaged emotionally. But you don't want to for some reason. Maybe you're just too concerned about your security or your finances or something that you feel like you just don't want to let your guard down. Because to engage our emotions could be take our focus off of our finances or our job or things like that. So there's something else going on here that's competing. Maybe that's why you're feeling like you're under the gun for a choice or a decision. There's something else competing here for the emotional goodness is there for the taking. But for some reason, you're distracted, it seems like, by practical matters. And your hopes and fears, the Eight of Pentacles in the upright position, I think you're definitely hoping uh, to get, maybe some of you are hoping to get back to work. That's what it is, because this is the Worker B card. So some of you could be just hoping to get back to work or hoping to get back to building your empire or whatever it is you're trying to accomplish here. You just want to stay focused and yeah, it's interesting. There is a, a conflict here. I definitely can see here, uh, Leo. And it's a conflict between love and money. Because look at the last two cards here. There's emotions, there's finances, right? The last two cards here are two queens. The queen of pentacles and the queen of cups. And it's like, what are you going to do here? Now we've got... Uh, these could, th could be two people who are very prominent towards the end of the month for you. Leo could be an earth sign. Uh, which is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, uh, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female. Now, it, it could be to, maybe the, the choice card is here. So perhaps you have to choose some of you between um, a water sign and an earth sign. Others of you could be just, you have to choose between emotions and your... Well, I feel that you you feel you have to choose between, but it almost seems like at the end of the month, because these cards are both in the upright. So this is like maybe you integrate both aspects of it. You find a way to make the financial stability, security part of it work, as well as the emotional and, um, you know, the like the Queen of Cups is all about that. Uh, feeling emotionally stable and, and grounded, right? And the Queen of Pentacles is all about feeling financially grounded and stable. So it could be that you find a way to, I hope that's what it is. You'll definitely have to leave me a comment in the comment section below because I hope that's what it is. But for some of you, yeah, with the choice card being here, you might have to choose between two people. So and that is your reading, and I hope it helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Bye-bye now.